Zolly versus Ty. So you asked me what I was doing when I was 18. What were you doing when you were 16? Definitely ditching school. Yeah. Uh, definitely playing Madden. Um, let me see what else. I don't think I could say the other things I was doing. But yeah, definitely not fighting. Definitely not beating down adults. Although we did have an <laughs> underground friends. boxing ring going on. Shout out Robert Stefani, who went undefeated. <laughs> Shout out Robert Stefani. Yes. Did, did everybody do that? Yeah, we had we used to put a tarp down on the lawn. Everybody would oh, box and stuff. Good time, man. Good Fun time. Stuff. We used the uh, the dunes in Moss Landing. Because oh. there's like this one thing that kind of goes down, and that was like a ring. Gotcha. Yeah, nothing like fighting on sand. <laughs> oh, dude, the background, the backdrop. It's like a video game. It's like Street you know Fighter. I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it really was. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, Blunder Buff says he was getting thrown around the mat room at 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Meanwhile, Ghazali. I mean, this was a great fight. Um, Ghazali is, I mean, he's 16 years old. Ty. I don't know. I don't know how old he is, but he's not sixteen. Not sixteen. Um, and he was landing on Ghazali, and Ghazali would just like stick his tongue out. He's bleeding. He'd scream at him. And start Very sixteen-year-old thing to do, by the way. Very sixteen-year-old thing. To do. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. putting his hands up and making those little, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. And then he ended up getting tired to start taunting back. He'd do the little, the little shimmy and stick his tongue out. Um, but I mean, I'm trying to find like a good. Uh, a good spot to show because this was this was just a fucking banger of a fight i mean i'll show the highlights in between rounds right here they say your brain's not fully developed until you're how old it's like 25 or like something 25 like or something yeah so ghazali is on the right here in the black trunks in the black trunks i mean look at these shots that he's throwing like look at that and just going yeah. to war both of them landing on each other ghazali coming out like a off of like a 15 second knockout in his last fight. Um, Are you sure he's 16? He doesn't look 16. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> I think he's 25. <laughs> I think he's like he's 25. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but Ty no slouch, right? Um, I think everybody got put on notice in, in Ghazali's last fight where it's like, okay, yeah, he's 16 years old, but don't treat him like it. Don't just assume you're going there and knock out a kid. You know, oh, weight class again? Uh, this one was, what was this one? This was at flyweight. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm trying to pull up once, once Ty got cut, look at this. This is the cool part right here. This is like some fight club shit. Okay. So you have, Ooh, I mean, look at him. Gazali got cut. Yeah. Gazali's cut, cut on the, on the forehead, on the hairline, pretty much. So look how, look on. how like game he is, you know? This is they're going to war at this point, and he's just got him in the corner. This was after the sec the first half of the second round. Ty pretty much poured it all out on uh, mm. Ghazali. I mean, he was really going hard at him. You can see he's pretty much gassed here, um, yep. and Ghazali's bloodied from that first minute of the first or the second round, but is like still in his face, just will not let him up. I mean, look at him throwing. Can the you elbows. imagine uh, going in? Let's say that you're I don't know 25, 26 years old. You get yeah. beat by a 16 year old. Look at him. He's so pumped. He's bleeding. He's saying nobody's going to stop this fight. Look, he's <laughs> jumping up and down in the corner. Jeez. I mean, and you gotta meanwhile, keep, you Ty's gotta like holding onto the rope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, man. just trying to. <laughs> I gave him everything I could right there, man. <laughs> Exhausted. Oh, my God. And, yeah. and the cool thing is, you know that Ghazali's going to continue developing, mm -hmm. both with the fight IQ. You know, he's going to continue growing up to be bigger, stronger. Man, sky's the limit for Ghazali. Yeah, and I think the big difference is, nice trip there. The big difference is a lot of these guys, these Muay Thai fighters are adapting to the small gloves, whereas Ghazali's like coming up with this, you know? Mm, He's growing saying. up training for four-ounce Muay Thai, and, and it makes a big difference. Next generation. Next generation yeah. here. It makes a big difference, and you can see early in this fight, Ghazali was trying to load up on all his shots, trying to throw big overhands, things like that, um, and it wasn't really getting through as much. Uh, and I think probably because his last fight, he he landed a big overhand that got the knockout, uh, one punch knockout. And but then after after Ty really like poured it on him in that second round, he started adjusting and started throwing just straight shots. And that's the straight shots are the difference maker in four ounce Muay Thai. I mean, you can yeah. even see there that oh, that right hand was wild, and Ty was able to frame off of it and land his Ooh. own shot. Yeah, I like the timing on that. 
dude once again shout out one championship for allowing us to to show this i feel like it makes it so much better being able to yeah. not just describe our favorite parts of the fight but being able to show it same yeah time. it's a game changer, yeah, dude because i mean it's it's cool being able to show pictures and stuff just so you can get a little bit more context but see there's yeah. the straight punches from from ghazali that he started throwing another one right there the jab uh, yeah spit out math mouthpiece yeah and i think um we'll skip forward we're not gonna show the whole fight obviously but i mean look at him look at the gamesmanship from from ghazali yep oh my <laughs> God. Come on, dude. you dude look so hyped. pumped dude is hyped just trying to will himself into the fight you know because I mean, he yeah, lost and then that you have Ty that lands an elbow to the top of the head. So Ghazali just pats to the top of his head, that's like saying, head. "Like, hey, nothing. It's all good. It's all yeah, okay." And, and see, then you see Ty. That's where with the that's where Ty starts giving it back. I mean, this sequence is sick. Oh, hey, yeah. also, don't stick your tongue out when you're about to eat a right, a straight yeah. right, right on your mouth. It yeah. won't end very well. Well, oh you're, man, you're predicting it here, right? These are the. <laughs> this is the most uh, most fights Rich has watched in a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a shot landed. Left hook, right hand as he comes in. Because you could see Ty's exhausted. You know, yeah, he's oh coming yeah. in. His defense isn't sound at this point. So he comes in. He, they're in a dog fight. They're taunting each other. And, man, Ghazali with that step back to bring him in. And he just Coach bop, tackled bop. by Ghazali. Yeah. The that left man. hook, right hand is just beautiful. Man. 16 years old in Lumpini Stadium. You know that's that's amazing. Here's the replay here. Let's see the, the taunting. That's the same combo there. That left hook, right hand. Yep. Bop. Trying to hit him with a elbow straight up the middle. Missed. Yeah. He just over but he over uh, extended himself there. You know. Yeah. Wow. I Great mean, combo to left hook right there. Bam. Boom. And the right hand. Boom. Right in the jaw. Night night. All right. Look at all these angles. <laughs> I know. I'm really, Fucking really awesome. enjoying this. Really enjoying one. Wow. The ref's like, again, right, ref right there. He's like, never mind. <laughs> you know, and that's one of the things that I also like about Muay Thai. Uh, it's not the automatic eight count. Ref kind of yeah. gauges to see the, the state of the fighter, what kind of mm -hmm. condition the fighter is in. And yeah. uh, like most of the knockouts that I saw from these fights, uh, the ref would, like right now, take a look mm -hmm. at the fighter, maybe count it two, and then just wave it off. Uh, not wanting to put the uh, the fighter at higher risk, and so boxing, for example, they go straight into the the eight count right away. Yeah, mm -hmm. no matter how dazed they seem, you know they'll ask them to walk towards them, rub the gloves on the chest, choke. Well, they don't do yeah. that in boxing, but you know what they, I mean. They usually and then, in, uh, in boxing. In boxing, it's usually if you can stand up by the eight count, they're probably going to let you fight. Chances you are they're going to let you fight, and so you continue seeing already concussed fighters continue moving forward and eating more damage and i love yeah. the fact that again in muay thai they they just wave it off if they see that the fighter's pretty bad yeah just don't watch uh Haggerty versus nango <laughs> they let him up <laughs> <laughs> you know, nango two times hey everybody Ramiro and will here thank you so much for watching that short clip it's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description, and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.